Hello there, and welcome back to some uh, Crusader Kings 2 with Game Thrones mod. We're still playing this, despite the release of Crusader Kings 3, because it is very, very good. There's a lot of things that Crusader Kings 2 have gotten right, which Crusader Kings 3 have not so much. But oh well, hopefully we get this guy out of the King's Guard. He uh, should be my son and heir, despite the amount of grandchildren I have now. Ah, so I say, Lannister, yep, we drove off to Willis. Just waiting for Willis to come of age. Shouldn't take too long. And hey, if you're still watching this campaign and you're not subscribed, that's crazy talk. Let's uh, get you subscribed down and uh, move on with our lives. What is this? Travel to a feast? I'm not going over there. More important things to do in my own personal realm. What is this? You did anything? Wait, whoa. Give you leave to go. Good luck. Lionel Frey would like to go and join the Citadel. Sure. I'm so used to playing Among Us that I'm using the WASD to scroll around on the map and I keep so this man here is a traitor. I heard a scuffle from my summit bench door. Rushing outside, I found that my guards had seized a cloaked man. This is him to slip some documents in my room. Under questioning, he revealed that he was working for Lord Donal and that the documents were fragments in evidence. Nintendo turned me against my vassal, Lord Lewin. Well, too bad. If anything, I want to give this guy a gift to get more levies out of him. We do have a lot of levies, though. A heck of a lot of levies. And did I remember start pressing record? I uh, I did. Good. I accidentally opened up Discord now though, so that's probably gonna fuck with everything. Let's uh, go ahead and cancel that. Don't need those notifications popping up all the time now, do I? Good. We are back in the realm. Excellent. Special minor times available. Oh, Arthur Dane has had a child. Rorin Dane. Rorin. Good. Uh, give him uh, the pride focus, of course, because he is a Dane, after all. He's going to be wanting that. Uh, what have we got then? Kennelmaster. We could give that to Vylar, sure. Court Tutor. I, uh, huh. Arthur, sure. Who else have we got? Bodyguard. Let's give that to Damien. Any good? I, 45. Uh, point no worse than the other people around. Next, my wife is pregnant again. She wants to give me a second heir. Ninth moon, so we're not quite there yet, but we should get the army ready. I'm going to start rallying the forces here together and uh, getting ready to march off towards the capital. Yes. That is a brave mood. Could we also get you on side? I, uh, yeah, let's buy a favor from you. No? What do you mean, no? Send a gift? likes me now. What about buying that favor? Yes, of course. Good man. Perfect. Are uh, you 16 yet? No, on the 11th of the 11th. Good stuff. Right. Buy a favor. Good man. Let's get all of you on side. A wise idea. I'll make it. So was this? As you ponder new ways to improve your realm, Maester Kralin approaches you with an idea. My lord, if you were to institute a system of provincial apothecaries, the health of your subjects would improve significantly. Yeah, sure, we got loads of fucking money. We got a ridiculous amount of money. Let's buy our wife something nice as well while we're at it. We have so much money. Money! Tywin the rich. Come on, let's get these forces together. And. God help us. Cassie Rock has the disease. We don't need that. Uh, so, I'm going to lead with Arthur Dane on one flank and Foily Press on the other. Let's go with Adam Marbrand. Go straight over to the capital. And what we're going to do is we are going to go to factions. We're going to create a faction now. Overthrow the monarchy of the Iron Throne. And we're going to get all of our friends to join in here. Ask to join factions. Good man. We'll have you there. Ask to join factions. Good man. Have you there. Ask to join factions. Good. Uh, you're not of age. You're not of age. You, however, are Renly. Now, could we do this? Could we buy a favour from Renly as well? I, I think that's just breaking the game too much. Having his own brother go to war with him over this. But there are some powerful lords around here. Three odd thousand. Two odd thousand. Four thousand. Okay, let's buy a favour from you. Can't. What if I were to send you a gift first? Ah. All morals go out the window when bribed. There are the Masseys over here, not terribly strong. You do have a Kingsguard member as well. Good for you. Uh, buy a favour. 
he will not accept. And the gift will only be 24 gold, though. Let's go ahead and get that favour. The Blounce, you already have a favour, don't you? No, where did it go? Well, let's get him inside. Stokeworth, my favour? Nope. Uh, what if I were to send a gift and then buy a favour? Good. Let's see how far this money goes, though. I did just offer a lot of people. So you there asked to join factions. Good. You there did something. Good. Uh, you accept. Good. Let's go ahead and get you uh, to join this faction here. You there, join the faction, please. You there, join the faction, please. Do still have a bit of money, so we could get Rosby in as well. Let's do that. Oh, we're going to have to send him a gift first. Morals go bye bye. Excellent. So let's go ahead and ask him to join the factions too. So the uh, faction is very, very big. Let's just allow Rosby to join in first. He's already in. Okay, great. Let's um, get to it then. So what we're going to do is we are going to demand the abolition of the monarchy. Hopefully it goes through without a hitch. But if we need to go to war, we can win this war without any real threats. We are very big and powerful. And to celebrate, we have a son. Let's go ahead and name him after me. Then war it is. Excellent. This is uh, displeasing now. You have decided to remove you from the council. Well, oh, why, why would he do that? Uh, we have got a lot of friends on our side. This is not going to be an issue at all. We also have an alliance with your family. So let's go ahead and... I can't call them in? No? Treacherous bastards. Um, yeah, not in the war. But all these other friends of ours are Roberts. Uh, his brother Renly has not joined on our side. But that's to be expected. You would like an alliance between who? My kinswoman and him. Can we not just go for a betrothal of somebody more related to me? No. Do you have a sister perhaps? I do have some more children. Lady Stark, would you like to join? Maybe. Let's see if we get Lady Stark involved. Uh, no, I will not be doing anything like that. Excellent. Would you like to join us, Lady Stark? An alliance perhaps? Yeah. Let's uh, storm this if I can as well. Oh, level 10 and above. Being held by Jonathan Darry. Really, Jonathan Darry? You're going to be the man defending this... This monarchy here? Let's put the army in half. We'll keep uh, ourselves here of all of our friends. We're going to send the rest of the army under Forley Prester. We're under Arthur Dane. Arthur Dane with uh, Forley Prester and Sandor Clegane. They're going to go and try and tidy up some of the enemy armies while we sit here and besiege with uh, Dennis Plum. Excellent. Will she uh, join the war? I don't see an option to invite her. She's changed her mind about the marriage. She's instead married a Mark Keg. Whomever this Mark Keg is. Also, Robert kept that. Why did Robert keep that? Oh. Means Robert's going to keep some extra forces here. We're going to hopefully destroy some of their stack. Here, though. Who's he got? Richard and Quentin Tyrell. Good fighters, but we were very, very powerful there. We have a lot of friends rising up as well. Very good. That's, of course, destroyed his levy amount because he simply can't call up all of his forces. Let's go and tidy up some more of these stacks, shall we, Arthur Dane? Very good. Some more over here? Of course, let's take them. Glorious, we're not going to storm the capital because we can't. We're just going to have to sit outside for a bit. We might siege King's Lang as well. Looks like these guys are struggling and being defeated. That's a shame. But we have so many friends, it's not really that much of a bother. Could storm here. Cost us a few thousand people, though. This stack going to win or lose? Looks like they're going to win. Excellent. We could use the reinforcements on King's Landing. Excellent. Excellent. The Tyrells are on their way with the second largest army in the realm. That will be a great help. A great aid. The greatest of aid. Ah, terrific. They're going to destroy this stack here. Oh no, Tigit has the uh, bloody flux. Isn't that what he died of in the historical world? Let's call for a first decision at once and hope that we can save his life there. Excellent, he's feeling much better. Um, but of course, we're bribing for that. 
It is, after all, his job. Good, more Bar Raffion forces destroyed. Excellent. Well done, everybody. Let's uh, keep going here. We'll have it victorious soon enough. Roberts is running around with a bit of an army, though. We should uh, be concerned about that. However, he has been excommunicated. Excellent. And what is this? Oh, you want uh, somebody else in charge here. <laughs> Cersei wants to be spy master. We'll, we'll let her. She is my daughter, after all. I do council members. What do we got? Her. Well, let's uh, Here. Sure, I, I understand we do see everywhere around here already, but I still want that place to be the one looked after. Looked after, watched over, whichever word is most appropriate here. That is what I want. Beony has died. Oh, no. Oh, no, that's terrible. What's more terrible, though, is what we're going to do to uh, Robert's children if we capture them. If he even has any, I'm not sure. Oh, he does. And they're all going to be in the Iron Throne Room. We're, we're going to destroy his family. This is, uh, this is Tywin Lannister, after all. Uh, should we really leave them there to get that? No, we're going to go and save them. I'm sure we'll have friends coming to help us out. Do we even need them? I don't think so. Arthur Dane is a great, great warrior. Oh, an outbreak disease outside the walls has harmed a lot of our besiegers. That's, that's a shame there. He still has not sent his family away. And I'm still in charge here. Apparently he is. No, he's not in charge. Let's, um... Because a lot of our commanders have ran off with the disease, we're going to have to get a couple more here. Roland of the Great Wall. And Adam, let's get you over here on my side. Roland, very good. Uh, these forces here are more than powerful enough. We're going to send them in to simply storm that. And uh, who else should we pick on? What about you, Langwood Hall? Do you want to get uh, destroyed? Let's go and have a look. No, Cleos Frey is dead. Well, too bad. That's just too bad. That's the only word for it. Cleos Frey dead. Uh, it's not even worth it. Too bad, really. Cleos Frey, his only existence is to get shot at with arrows and killed. It's the only reason he's around. This was a very powerful fact. We took over most of the crown lands through the, uh, through the bribes there. Very happy with how that went. No. Uh, his family be put into the dungeon excellence. We have taken Robert Baratheon's family and we will be getting rid of that. Starting with his wife. She's a high tower and the high towers are on her side. Uh, in that case, we could allow her to survive, but only her. No, she's getting executed, every single one of them. Uh, beheading. And then there is the two children. We'll uh, be executing both of them as well. Execute, beheading. There is a Lawrence here. He'll be executed through beheading. And then there is the one-year-old bastard child here with Jane Bracken. He'll also be beheaded. Excellent. So let's see if the uh, war is still at 100%. It is. Well, in that case, let's go ahead and enforce our demands. The war to overthrow the monarchy of the Iron Throne has ended. Lord Paramount Tywin of the Westlands has won. We can have a republic based on trade, or we can concentrate power into a council of noblemen. Gains seven kingdoms. No, what we'll be doing is we will uh, be a republic based on trade. Money. We're going to be a mercantile empire, led by Tywin Fukin Lannister. Let's go ahead with that. Excellent. The uh, Martells are a great house. The uh, Tyrells are a great house. The Tullys are a great house. Lannisters are a great house. And what other great houses are there? We usurped everything from him. Oh, I think I might have clicked through the other great houses there. Rod Baratheon has lost a lot of things. He's now been sent out into the wilderness. Let's just click through all of these, though. I hope there's not another. But we can check who the other houses are shortly. Let's have a look, then. So it is Macy. Oh, great. And it is Lannister. Yes, Macy has managed to become a great, powerful house here. Uh, wh why is the capital over there? No, the capital should not even be King's Landing. I want the capital to be over here. Although that would make this uh, the inheritable title. No, the capital's going to be over in King's Landing, the Red Keep. Very good. And what we're going to do is we're going to usurp what we can here. High Lordships. Ah. Why can we usurp so many High Lordships? We could uh, take Seaguard. 
the uh, twins here are a friend of ours, we could simply grant them mercy guard to become a bit more powerful. I don't think that gave him the uh, vassals though, are you not sworn to? No. Here's the Dijur of it. Let's see what else we could do around the realm here. Bay of Crabs. Um, you're Targaryen, Lawless. We don't want you to be terribly powerful. Willowwood, Gullertown. Anywhere else we want to go for around here? Uh, Lord of Old Town. They, uh, huh. they might be a threat to the Arbor. No, Ocean Road. Let's just have a look around and see if we do find anywhere we do want to uh, give more power for, uh, more power to. Cockles went? No. Bryce Water, West March. No, if we're not going to fuck with people who uh, were on our side. Yeah, just the, uh, the north here is an option. We could take White Harbour. No, I, I don't think I want to take any of these places. Let's just uh, leave them where they are. Um, Special my title is available. More than stuff, we'll give that to Loras there. Commander slots, we'll give that to you know, it's best, Gunster and Gilbert Firing. Very good. This land here, do we have the uh, Dijur Kingdom of Dragonstone? Yes, we do. We're going to go ahead and create it. And we're going to give it to the Macy's because they are one of the great houses here. Oh, is that only the High Lordship? I thought it was the Kingdom. Dragonstone. Oh, right, we have to create the uh, kingdom there. It's separate. A series of laws have been passed by Lord Magistra Tywin of the Iron Throne, of the Iron Throne, limiting the powers of the vassals and High Septon. One of the laws prohibits the Faith from arming her. Ah, very good. But yes, the Maces here will be granting them Dragonstone. Apparently not. Let's see how this goes. I have a new heir, Quentin Lannister. Uh, leave him be. Sure, leave him. Who's he? Jamie. Oh, um. Let's get Jamie out of the King's Guard and invite him to court. Very good. Um, Perwin, he's at King's Guard. I don't know who you are. We're going to remove you from the King's Guard. Strongborn, we will leave him be. Darry, he'll uh, be kicked out of the King's Guard. Law, Lowen, we'll leave him be. Macy, will leave him be. Moosen, he'll be kicked out. As for you, we could send you to the dungeon. We will do just that. Robert the Rash. Oh, just leave. Um, okay, so looks like Renly has risen up. As for... who are you? Oh, Herbert had a child! Um, take him hostage. Excellent, excellent. We'll grant us whomever we wish. Uh, we'll crush you and everybody will surely honor their obligations. Uh, we'll be throwing you in the dungeon, however, Robert. And you recommend a Chester? I don't. Let's have a quick pause here before we get to any wars. Let's have a look at who the King's Guard is currently. The White Book. So it looks like we have ah, Justin Macy is the Lord Commander for some reason. Then you have the Strong Boar and you have Lewin of Dawn. Uh, why are you the Lord Commander here? It really should not be you. Can I not revoke that? Uh, Myself. Okay, so we're going to leave that there. Let's go through all these uh, previous guys who we did go through. Oh, Viserys Targaryen would actually be an option. Uh, Arthur Dane is no longer an option. So we got Lyle Strongboy is already here. Gregor Clegane. What about Sandor? Would you like to join the King's Guard? He would. Good shout. Uh, Myrlon has been married. Alyssa Malador is up one of those guys. Okay, so we don't actually have other options at the moment. Let's go ahead and choose an ambition. We'd like the ambition to uh, expand around by conquest, sure. Let's also go and nominate our successor. Master of Laws, let's give that to uh, Kevin, sure. My own title, can I not do that here? Designated heir, excellent. I would like Jamie. Kevin. I can't choose Jamie. Let's see if he'll actually join my court. Oh, we actually do get to choose a new Lord Commander. Well, we're going to go with... Uh, Sandal Plagain was in my squad, but there is Lyle the Strong Boar, who is a much better commander. We're going to go with Lyle the Strong Boar. Excellent. Uh, let's hope he serves his Lord of True, and let's see what the greatest knights of the realm are. Oh, I'll go back right now. Oh, none of these men. <gasps> Jamie Lannister has joined our court. Let's see if we can award him as designated heir. Yes, we can. Very good. And let's uh, 
Award him. State Inquisitor and award him. Something else. No. We'll make him an advisor as well so we get a bit of um, stuff there. Ah, Edison Toilette has had another child with uh, Sassy. We'll go ahead and allow that. Unmarried heir. Let's see if we can get him some prestige, perhaps. Would you get him prestige, Lady Dustin? Uh, can we go for adults only, perhaps, here? You're a Lorafi. Would you make a decent match? He would gain prestige, but not really. Let's see if there are any other ladies of noble births around here. There is you as well. You have slightly better traits than your sister. He's a relatively powerful man too. Okay, let's go ahead with that marriage. Excellent. Um, but we'll come back to it the next episode. We'll also have to deal with Renly, who does, does still have a bit of an army. As for you though, Roberts... Robert, you're not going to be surviving the next episode. I'll see you guys then. Thank you for watching. Hope you are enjoying this content. Goodbye.